Well, I'm still having fun every single day posting to my Instagram. So you can find the link in the description of the video. And what I do on Instagram is every single day, I look for like two, three, four pieces of gaming news and I just put it in a video and just summarize it. So it, it's giving me an excuse and it's giving me a reason to read the gaming news and I just report on what I like in it. But then what I also post on my Instagram is every single day, I post pictures of two gaming characters, um, which basically is like a, it's almost like a recommendation. You know, I've played a lot of games in my time and every single game I'm, and game character I'm posting, I would vouch for. So there's been so many amazing ones, like the creativity of the game developers and the studios is only going up and up and up and up because, you know, the competition is so high. So, and a lot of these games are carried as well by amazing soundtracks and so on. So, um, yeah, so please check out my Instagram if you haven't already. I passed, I think, 900 followers uh, this week over on Instagram. So it's nice to see everything growing slowly. Like, my YouTube channels are growing, my Instagram is growing, my Twitter is growing, my, my Twitch is growing, like, everything is growing slowly um, and surely. And what I'm aiming for as a content creator, I think every content creator does, is that sort of eventual moment where you pass a, a, the plateau and then suddenly things explode. I mean, that's basically what I'm waiting and hoping for at some point because I run six YouTube channels and so on. And But I have a nice schedule going. So for example, to this channel, to the vlog channel, I only post on Sundays. And then to the finance channel, I, I post on Mondays and Fridays. Um, the Let's Play channel is my backup of my live streams. And exporting from Twitch over to YouTube is literally a button. It's, it's, it's actually very straightforward to do. And then the Shorts channel is just, if there's any short thing, it's, it's just as easy as making the Instagram videos. It's just I record a less than a minute video on my phone and then just post on the Shorts channel. Though I haven't actually done that in the last couple of days, but, you know, I'll get back to it soon. And on the main gaming channel, what I've posted this week is reactions to game trailers so uh they with this week we had horizon forbidden west we had dying light 2 and we had far cry 6 gameplay reveals and they were all great i really enjoyed all of them so um if you want head over to my main gaming channel after this vlog and check out all my reactions like they, they i had a lot of fun doing it and my my general thing is like the reason i upload these um videos and reactions is because I do really enjoy making them and if you want my perspective as well you know I like and sometimes I'll invite people on there on voice chat and we'll just joke around because at the end of the day I'm still a gamer you know what I mean like and even when it comes to Twitch as well I'm not just a streamer I'm also a viewer you know so when I'm not streaming myself if I'm ever you know like doing working on whatever then I will have Twitch up and I'll be watching and I'll, I'll be interacting with some streamers and so on and seeing what's going on. And not every game that is um, featured out in the world has got to be AAA, amazing, unbelievable, multi-billion dollar budget. You know, it doesn't have to be like that. Like literally yesterday, I was watching Lyric play Power Wash Simulator where the goal of the game is literally to just clean things with a power washer. <laughs> but because of it was lyric, it was fun to watch, you know, hearing his reactions to things as well. So it's not always about um, the high budgets, you know, the game itself just needs to be fun. And um, if the game is not so fun, a lot of times games can be made more fun by just who you play it with. So like, um, for example, some some months ago, I played uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It was completely um, trashed in the reviews. Four out of ten, three out of ten, five out of ten. You know, and I said they, like these reviewers were making it out to be one of the worst games of all time. And yet, uh, me and uh, my friends jumped into it and played it. I absolutely loved it. You know, I thought it was so fun. I thought it was so good, you know, and like playing it as well, doing the co-op with my friends and so on. It was a really, really fun experience. So, um, you know, so it, it's not always about how games are carried on their own. You know, so, and 
that can be the shame sometimes as well within gaming and within the way reviews are done and so on. When what is clearly a co-op game is reviewed as like a single player because like there's there's so many co-op games now and um you know it, it's a shame when that sort of things happens i i i would play ghost recon again you know I, I thought it was very very good so and i am looking forward to the other games like so i said like dying light 2 co-op i'm looking forward to that far cry 6 hopefully there'll be co-op there was co-op in far cry 5 so um we'll we will see we will see and in the next couple of weeks we have e3 for 2021 and also as well very soon in the next couple of weeks uh, to coincide with that we have the release of final fantasy 7 remake integrate you know the playstation 5 version of the game and the ufi dlc so and i'm also looking forward to that and then the new ratchet and clank is coming out so there's so many things happening in gaming at the moment so this is like around this time for people who don't really follow gaming this is like the peak of the year around june because that's when the most game announcements happen that's when the most excitement happens of what we have to look forward to so it's not necessarily about lots of games coming out it's just a case of we are informed as a player base around the world of what all these big developers are working on and what we have to look forward to for the rest of the year so it's all building towards june so yeah like hopefully it'll be a good time and the main thing with all of this when i make these videos is that i'm doing it just because i enjoy doing it now um i know that a lot of you actually watch all my videos um like and i do appreciate you for that but please engage more you know it's like i do like the conversation to go both ways like uh, rather than just me talking to camera if you like my videos give them a thumbs up if you want to talk about anything leave a comment you know like i always do appreciate hearing other people's stories because that's the thing that fascinates me the most is your story you you watching this video like why um are you doing the things you do what led to you getting to this point where do you see yourself in the future you know because i am just a normal human being right? i am living my life and this is how i'm living it and i would like to know yours simple as that because i find that the benefit of interacting with lots of people online because i've been online now for like god 22 years is just sharing people's lives sharing people's experiences and then sit to see can i learn anything from someone because just the other day i was having dms back and forth uh with someone on instagram who said they were very inspired by my videos and they were working hard and then i looked at the person's feed and they really really work hard at the gym so, and I, I was asking questions as well, like what motivates you to work out so much and stuff, stuff like that. So it's, it's very, um, it's very interesting to interact. You know, I, I find a lot of benefit and a lot of value in that. So, yeah. And it was funny, like, um, you know, I say in these videos, I say it every single week, how quickly a week goes by and then I have to make another one of these videos. <laughs> So like I actually completely forgot that I was making that it was Sunday today. So like it was actually my dad that reminded me. He said, "Oh, you're gonna make your vlog tomorrow." It's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. It's Sunday." <laughs> so um, yeah, and um, I hope you guys do like this sort of content. And the reason why I like making these videos and talking about things um, and doing the gaming news every day and stuff like that is because when from my experience, when you teach something or when you express something to someone, um, you yourself learn it better. Simple as that. And also as well, like sometimes thoughts can go around in my head. You know, I have a perception of how things are in my head. But when it comes out my mouth, you know, it can be different. It can sound different. It can feel different. So um, that's why I like to talk out loud to reflect on these things it's also the reason as well like when i play the final fantasy 14 main story i read it all out because reading it in my head will give me one impression but actually reading it out gives me completely another so even with my amazing reading skills so that's that's all i can say about that for today like i said guys i hope um, we had a good week and i will see you guys hopefully next sunday 
Um, if anything interesting happens in the meantime, please follow my social media. Like I do tweet every single day. So I am a, I'm a busy bee. I'm very, very busy. And I do appreciate all your guys' support. And I'm hoping in over the next, I don't know, year, that a, a couple of these channels will get partnered. So I'm hoping the finance channel will get partnered. I'm hoping this channel will get partnered. The shorts channel, I don't know, because, um, you know, YouTube have this thing of you need 4,000 watch hours in order to um, get partnered and 1,000 subscribers. But the problem with shorts, they're less than a minute long. So even if they're watched 1,000 times, you know, because they're less than a minute long, that's 1,000 minutes of watch time. Whereas on my Let's Play channel, a video might get, I don't know, like... Um, five views but some of those people who were watching my let's plays on backups of my live streams are watching the whole thing so that one six hour vod might get six hours of watch time you know what i mean so to put it in perspective um six hours is you know six times 60 that's 360 versus a thousand views on the shorts channel might just be you know so it would be a thousand minutes if i had a thousand views uh, versus one view <laughs> on the Let's Play channel could be 360 on its own. So it, it's it's about that. I mean, it would be nice if, I mean, to be perfectly honest, it would be nice if all of the channels were, it would be nice if I was a billionaire, you know, that, of course, you can, things can get carried away. Oh, like, I'll, I'll clear world debt. How about, <laughs> you know, like the, these um, ambitions can get a bit out of, uh, you know, can easily get out of whack. That That's why as well on my personal finance channel, I talk about how to make a plan, how to keep things reasonable in your brain about goals to actually aim for realistic goals, baby steps towards realistic goals, which actually will happen. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm ranting now. So I will hopefully see you next week. Have a good, good time, guys. Anyway, guys. I've linked two other videos to this video. Check them out. This channel is the weekly vlog. Every Sunday, I talk about what's happened for the last seven days. So please subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.